is the bar. Now, my coach used to have this saying where he said, effort is contagious. And what he meant by that was that we were never allowed to complain in a workout. When you got into the depths of that brutal workout where you have a million and one negative thoughts just overwhelming your brain, you want to quit, you want to give up. In those moments, you're not allowed to complain. Because the second that you do, it starts to bring everyone down. But the inverse is also true. That if you are in the depths of that workout, you feel terrible, everything is negative in your brain. That if you then hear someone else beside you say, I'm so tired, but I'm going to give this next interval everything I have. Well, then when they start pushing in the final 100 meters, so do you. Because when we, when we feel that effort is high, we can actually be pushed to match it. It's why when you run a marathon, um, marathon runners, when they're, when they're following their training program leading into the race, they never actually run a marathon. You run close to the distance, but you never actually run the distance until the day of the race. Which means on the day of the race, those marathon runners on the start line are going to be running harder and farther than they ever have before. Yet, the completion rate is insanely high. And that's because of the collective struggle, the effort that everyone is putting in. You have the fans cheering, throwing energy at you. You have people rising above their limitations, which encourages you to transcend your own. When we do this, the, the communal energy, the communal effort that they feel makes the thought of not finishing seem unthinkable. If we look at the completion rates of the biggest marathons in the world, the New York City Marathon completion rate is 98.9%. The London Marathon, 98.7%. Berlin Marathon, 99%. That means that the second you leave that start line in one of the major marathons, you're almost guaranteed you will finish. And so this isn't a measurement just of individual grit. This is a measurement and a testament to the power of collective effort.